Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll show you how to install a new Plotly in Jupyter Notebook to create interactive visualizations. If you want to take your data visualization skills to the next level, Plotly is a must-have tool. So let's get started. Plotly is an advanced data visualization library that lets you create interactive charts and dashboards. Unlike Matplotlib and Seabond which generate static plots, Plotly allows you to zoom, span and hover over data points for a richer experience. With Plotly, you can create bar chart, scatter plots, line graphs, pie charts, heat maps and even 3D plots. Now let's install Plotly and create our first interactive visualization. Now let us install Plotly in Jupyter. So for that we need to first open a Jupyter notebook either from Anaconda or using command prompt. So after opening a Jupyter notebook, we need to install Plotly by running the following command exclamation pip install Plotly. So we can see requirement already satisfied, which means that Plotly is already installed in my system, but still we can uh, verify the installation by importing Plotly and checking the version. So for that, I'll write import Plotly and then I'll print its version plotly dot underscore underscore version underscore underscore so the version of plotly 6.0.0 so this means that plotly is successfully installed now let us create some interactive plots so we need to import uh, plotly so let me write import plotly dot express SPX. This is a easy to use module for quick plots and let me also import pandas as pd. Then let me uh, load the sample data. So I am creating a variable df in that I am loading px.data.iris. So iris is a built in data set containing flower measurements. And let me quickly see the first five rows of the data frame. So we have the sepal length, sepal width, sep petal length, petal width, species and the species ID. Now the next step is creating an interactive scatter plot. So for that let me write figure is equal to px dot scatter. I'll take the data from df. In x I'll take my sepal width in y I'll take the sepal length and for color I'll color it using the species column and let me put the title as a scatter plot sepal width versus the sepal length and to plot uh, to print the plot I'll use figure dot show I need to use the correct column name. So this is the scatter plot between the sepal width and the sepal length. So the species are set over the blue represents setosa, the orange represents versicolor and the green represents virginica. So we can see that if we hover over any data point we can directly get information such as the about its species, the sepal width and the sepal length and what else can we do is we can zoom in and we can also zoom out so this shows that this is indeed we can also like drag it to change the location so this shows that we have plotted an interactive scatter plot now let us explore some different plotly charts so first 
let me show you a line chart so in that i'll use a different data set in df i'll store px.data.gapminder so this is another built in data set and for the plot i'll use px.line first let us see this data set first so let me print df.head okay so we have country continent year life expectation population gdp so we have like about different countries and like different uh, the data about different countries so in the figure what i'll do is i'll choose px dot line uh, px dot line and then df df country so i'll choose the country column and let me set the country to india and in the x axis let me take year and in the y axis let me take gdp per capita and let me put the title as india's gdp over time and let me set the markers as true now let me uh, print this plot Okay, so this is a interactive line plot. So again, if we hover over the data points, we can see the year as well as the GDP per capita. And so we can also like focus over like this data point. We can zoom it. So now the second. chart let me show the bar chart so again i'm using the same data set of gapminder so it is like px dot bar i'm taking the same data frame in in x i'm taking continent and in y i'm taking population or pop and then i'm coloring it you based on the continents and let the title be population by continent let me write figure dot show okay so this is like a bar chart so again if we are hovering over the data points we can see like the different population variables so this is so asia has the maximum population then we have like americas europe africa oceania now the third type of chart is pie chart so i'm again using the same data set and for pie chart we need to write px dot pi and year let me set the year as let me set it as 2007 and values i am taking it as population and names is continent and let me set the title as world population distribution 2007 now let me just print the plot so we have our interactive pie chart so uh, asia has 61% of the total world's population 
then we have africa americas europe and oceania now let me show you a histogram so for that figure is equal to px dot histogram df x is life expectancy now the number of bins let me put it as 20 and the title let me put it as life expectancy distribution So this is a histogram. So like from 30 to 35 we have like 31. Then from 35 to 40 we have 91 and this is the maximum from 70 to 75. So this means that the maximum life expectancy I mean uh, generally it is from 70 to 75 as shown in the data set. And the last, let me show you a 3D scatter plot. So for 3D scatter plot, we need to write px dot scatter underscore 3D. The data set is again from df and in x, I am taking GDP per capita. In the y, I am taking life expectancy in z i am taking population since it's a 3d graph we need three variables so we have x y and z and for color i'll choose continent now let me put the title as 3d scatter plot of gdp life expectancy and population and let me write figure dot show okay so this is a 3d scatter plot now let we can zoom it out so we have population versus life expectancy and over here we have the GDP per capita so we can zoom it out we can rotate it we can do whatever we want to do it so this is a very interactive 3d scatter plot we can hover over a data point and we can see like what is the continent GDP per capita life expectancy and the population so with just a few line of code we have created interactive charts that make data exploration much easier now let us fix some common plotly issues so if uh, the error is displayed that pip is not recognized try using mpip install plotly then if the error is that plots not displaying in jupyter notebook what we can do is we can use import plotly.ios piu and then piu.renderers.default as notebook and the last error is if the jupyter notebook is freezing then we can try running plotly in google collab if the notebook is slow here are some real world use cases where we can use plotly so we can uh, use plotly for business dashboards financial data analysis machine learning model evaluation or in data science projects so if we want to build interactive dashboards we can try dash that is the plotly's web framework for python and that's it now you know how to install and use plotly in jupyter notebook to create interactive visualizations if you found this helpful hit the like button and subscribe for more python and data science tutorials let me know in the comments what visualization you want to learn next see you in the next one